Hello everybody! Happy Indigenous History Month! My name is Mr. Harney and today we are going to do some activities to celebrate Indigenous History Month. But before we begin, I want to acknowledge the land that we live on. For MFRC, it is situated on the land of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Mississauga of the First Credit, and the Wendat Nation. And for myself, as a settler, someone who came from another land to the land that I'm in now, I have the responsibility to also respect the land that we live in, to take care of Mother Earth, and also respect everybody that is also on this land to learn about their differences, to understand their differences, and to spread love. But also, on this land, we also have to be a little bit smart, I guess, about the things that we learn and to ask questions when we do not understand something. Okay, are we ready? So, for our first activity, we are going to read a book. Let's go! Today, we are going to read the book, This Is How I Know. And in this book, we are going to learn about the different seasons. And what are the seasons that we know in Canada? We know summer, we know fall, we know winter, and spring. So in this book, we are going to learn through an indigenous perspective, the different things and animals and even insects that we're going to see and hear. And we're going to see the different changes that, that occur in nature throughout the seasons. Okay. So let's begin. This is how I know. How do I know summer is here? recognize this berry? It's a blueberry. When Loon opens her red eyes to call across the water and green Luna moth hides among birch leaves. Can you spot the red eye Loon? I see it over here and I also see the moth. When Bumblebee collects purple fireweed with me and we spy brown screech owl asleep in a tree. Do you see the bumblebees? How about the owl? There we go. I wonder what's next that we're gonna see. When blueberries drop readily and the sand is hot enough to sting. This is the berry that we saw earlier, the blueberry. When insects below black from the trees and the sun slips into an orange dream. This is how I know summer. Can you see the beautiful dreamy sunset? It's really pretty. Oh, look at this, an orange and yellow leaf. How do I know fall is here? When brown cattails swell and bend and the red-winged blackbird takes his leaf. You can see the blackbird over here taking its leaf. When mallard feast on yellow corn and black bear licks the ant pile clinging. Oh my goodness, those are some hungry bears. Perhaps they're getting ready for the next season. <laughs> when orange mushrooms emerge one by one and we collect them from the forest green. You see, she's harvesting the mushrooms. When white clouds form, in fewer numbers, and the sky seems bluer than it was before. This is how I know fall.
how do I know winter's here? Ooh. When I wait for the sun's bright light and watch brown deer strip cedar. Do you see the deer stripping the cedar? When I whistle to blue jays, tweedle, tweedle, and lay seeds for red caped woodpecker. Can you spot the woodpecker? It's over here. And you can see the big blue jay as well. When orange fox begs at my door, a gray mouse sneaks inside for warm. Ooh, I spy. Mouse, can you see a mouse? Oh, right over here. Oh my goodness, so tiny. Ooh, look at the sky. When the white moon sits highest in the sky and green light dances through the night. This is how I know winter. Wow, look at the beautiful winter sky. How do I know spring is here? Ooh. When black ice softens and green shoots peak through white snow. We can see snow is melting, right? And then the new grass is coming out. When yellow-billed seagull comes home to roost and keeps her spotted egg warm in the nest. Here's the seagull, and what are they sitting on? Oh, on the eggs. Maybe for the baby seagulls. <laughs> when red-breasted robin lays her blue eggs and pink-bellied puppies tumble and suckle. We see another bird here sitting on eggs waiting for the baby blue jays. And we can also see the baby puppies over here. <laughs> <laughs> when an orange star shows that time is near and brown pepper sings, good night little one. This is how I know spring. I wonder if you can spot the yellow star in the sky. Oh, right over here. So bright, so bright. D and Wow, I hope you enjoyed the book and that you got to learn about the different uh, seasons through this book and that there are many animals that we get to see in every season, there are many insects and, and, and berries and plants and we can see that every plant and even the sky <laughs> looks different for each season. Amazing. Okay. Now we are going to do an art activity, but not just any art activity, we are going to make our own paint. So we're going to use berries and onion to make our color. And we're going to learn also a little bit about what the berries that we're going to use and the onion and how they are important to some indigenous communities and culture. Let's go! So these are the items that you will need today to make our natural paint. You will need bowls. I'm going to use a few bowls today because we have a few items that we will be making our natural paint out of. You will also need a spoon to help push the colors or extract the colors out of the foods that we'll be using to make our natural paint. You will also need, and it's optional, gloves. I wash my hands today, so I will not be using gloves. But make sure to wash your hands first. Then you will need paper towel. Or you can use a mesh strainer as well, if you do not have either or. So here are the foods 
that we will be using today to extract our natural paint. First, we have blueberries. And what colors are the blueberries? And then we also need strawberries. What color is the strawberry? And we will need skin from an onion, preferably skin from a yellow onion. You will also need a cup of water and a knife. Please have an adult help you use the knife. So we are going to make our first color and we're going to use the onion skin. So we are going to put the onion skin into the bowl. We're going to pour some water into the bowl. We are going to grab our spoon and push the onion skin into the water. Hmm. I wonder what color do you think we're making? Next, we're going to use the blueberries. We're going to grab our bowl and put the blueberries into the bowl. Then we're going to use our spoon and we are going to push down onto the blueberries and crush them, crush them, crush them. You should see some colors coming out of the blueberries. What color do you think we're making this time? Now we're going to pour some water into the bowl and we're going to crush the blueberries a little bit more. Now you can really see what color we're making. Okay, now we're going to use these strawberries. So pick up your knife or ask an adult to help you cut the strawberries. Now we are going to grab our bowl and spoon again and put the strawberries into the bowl. Then we're going to grab our cup of water, pour it into the bowl, and use our spoon to push down on the strawberry and crush it within the water. Hmm, I wonder what color we're making with the strawberries. Now we will let our onions, blueberries, and strawberries sit in the water for a few minutes to an hour, and we will come back. Now, we are going to extract the colors from our fruits that have been sitting in the water for a few minutes. So remember, you will need either paper towel or a mesh strainer. I also brought a separate bowl and I also brought little containers 
to pour our natural paint in. So we're going to take our bowl and put the mesh strainer on top of the bowl. We're going to start with our onion and we're going to pour all the onion and the liquid onto the mesh strainer. We are going to use our spoon and push down onto the onion, making sure all the liquids go through the mesh strainer. Wow, look! It looks like a yellow color that we made. And now I'm going to take my container and I'm going to pour it into the container for us to use later. So again, using another bowl. And now we're going to do the blueberries. Again, using the strainer on top of the bowl, pour the blueberries, all of it, onto the mesh strainer. Use the spoon and push, push, push. Wow, look what color we made. It looks like a purple color that we made. I'm gonna pour the purple color into our container to use for later. Now we're going to do the strawberries. This time we're going to use the paper towel. We're going to put the paper towel on top of the bowl. And we're going to pour our strawberry mixture into the paper towel. Lift the paper towel, let the water drain into the bowl. And we're also going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze any excess extra liquid out of the strawberries. Wow, look at what color we made. It looks like a rosy orange or a rosy red that we made. Again, we're going to pour our liquid into a container for us to use later. Wow, good job everybody. Now that we have made our natural paint, we're going to use it for our next activity. Now we're going to paint with the colors that we made from the berries and onion. We will also need a blank piece of paper and a paintbrush. Let's review the colors that we made. We made purple with the blueberries, yellow with the onion skin, and a reddish rose red with the strawberries. Today, we will also be using some leaves for our activity. So you can go out to your garden or forest and pick out leaves that you need. Let's begin. So we're going to take our leaf and place it onto the paper. I'm going to dip it into our paint of our choice and we're going to paint it 
move the paint all around the edges of the leaf. We're going to take another leaf and do the same thing and perhaps pick another color. Let's do the rosy red. And the rosy red came from the strawberries, right? And wild berries like the strawberries and the blueberries are important plants that are in indigenous people's diet and medicine. So let's use the blueberry purple that we made and brush it all across all over on top of this leaf remember how we used the strawberries to make the color red so for many indigenous peoples strawberries are also called the heart berry and it is said to remind us of the relationships that we have with the land, Mother Earth, and with each other. That we are here to live on this land in peace and kindness with each other and our differences. Also, for some indigenous groups, like the Haudenosaunee, strawberries represent life and health. It is also said to be the first berry to appear or pop out at the beginning of the year. Also, do you remember us using the onions to make the color yellow? Well, onions also have an importance within many indigenous diet and medicine. And ta-da! How did your picture come out? Let's see what we made here today. So it's a little wet right now and you can already see some of the colors that we used. So to make the colors pop out more, we are gonna wait a few minutes for the paint to dry. Okay, thank you everybody for watching this video and celebrating Indigenous History Month with me today. I hope you all learned something different and enjoyed the activities that we did as well. And remember that we're all here to respect Mother Earth, respect the land that we're in, and respect everybody that lives on this land with respect and love. Take care, everybody. Bye.